Stephanie Hansen, and this is stephaniesdish.com, and we are making the Greek salad with quinoa that's in my book, The True North Cabin Cookbook. You can get it in stores, you can get it online. It also comes in a Kindle version. And this is something that I make a lot for parties. I've got some water boiling on the stove with about a tablespoon of olive oil. And when that's done, I'm gonna stir in a cup of quinoa. I'm gonna take it off the heat and I'm gonna cover it. And that quinoa is gonna absorb the water and it's going to fluff up. And in the meantime, I'm gonna make a dressing that we're gonna pour over it. And then we're gonna stir in all the delicious things that would be in a Greek salad. So for the dressing, let's just get started. I have a half a cup of lemon juice and a half a cup of olive oil. I'm gonna do uh, the zest of one lemon. And this isn't in the recipe, but you guys, whenever I use a lemon in anything, I zest. Because I just think there's so much flavor in the lemon peel. I love it. So I always add it. And it just adds a little pop of color if you see it in there. It's always super delicious. Okay, so I'm gonna finish the dressing with just this little bit of zest here. And we are gonna add some salt, some pepper, some mustard. It's a pretty easy vinaigrette. That's gonna give us a lot of flavor. And if you think about it, like quinoa doesn't have a huge flavor profile, so you need a lot of dressing to carry that flavor through. The other thing that I'm gonna add is garlic. And you can chop the garlic. What I like to do whenever I'm using garlic in like a dressing preparation like this is to microplane it. Again, I'm obsessed with my microplane, but I like to do that because it really breaks it down so that nobody's getting like a hunk of garlic in their mouth when they're chewing. So we've got our dressing. Just gonna get a little bit of the microplane garlic here. We're looking for two cloves. I feel like when you're writing recipes, it's really hard with garlic these days because some of the cloves are gigantic. So when I say like two cloves, if you have a gigantic clove, that can be a lot of garlic. So I try to think about like, okay, what would a normal size clove be? And go from there. This is what I consider a normal size clove. That other one was pretty giant. So I'm gonna go ahead and just whisk up my dressing. Let it get its flavor on. I'm gonna put a teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of salt, and this is gonna be how we're gonna dress the quinoa. But first, let's get it finished. So again, I'm gonna add a cup of quinoa and I'm just gonna let it sit. All right, so we finished our dressing. Our quinoa is absorbing. When you're dressing a quinoa salad, I like to put the dressing on when the quinoa is still warm, but then I kind of wait because I don't want to add like the feta cheese from the Greek salad and the cucumber and have the quinoa be too hot because it's just going to make the vegetables not so fresh. So I'm going to come back to you and we'll go ahead and get the assembly going. But first I want to show you a tip. Okay, so here is a Hanson hack. You see these, this is parsley. And what it is, is it's inside a mason jar. And that mason jar has a small juice glass full of water in it. And what I do is I cut the parsley stems. So I get a fresh cut and I stick that in the mason jar in the water. That has been seven days worth of parsley sitting in the refrigerator and it looked fresh. This is three days of cilantro that is in the same juice class, but not covered in the mason jar. And dare I say what it would look like if it was just wrapped in a plastic uh, container or a plastic bag, or even if it was wrapped in a paper, um, paper towel, a wet paper towel, which is how they say to store herbs a lot. You guys, this trick creates like a, an environment that's humid, that the herbs love, but they don't get soggy because only their stems are in the water. I have kept mint and I've kept parsley and even cilantro, I can get two weeks out of it. Parsley and mint, I can get about three weeks. It is really a great thing to do. The only vegetable, or excuse me, the only herb that 
I don't get great success doing this method with is dill, which is a shame because I love it so much. But that's a hack for you. Now we're gonna wait till our quinoa cools off and I'll come back and we'll finish the salad assembly. Okay, so we are going to add our tomatoes to our bowl with our quinoa. Our, that was one cup of tomatoes. This is four small Persian cucumbers. We have some red onion. I used a quarter cup there. We have a cup of feta. We have a quarter cup of green onions. We have a quarter cup each of mint and parsley. I've got them all in there. And then I just realized I need to get the Kalamata olives. All right. So delicious. Okay, we've got all of our dressing in here. I probably should have used a larger bowl, but you'll get the idea as I go around and toss. And this is great for a potluck. So this is the Greek quinoa salad from the True North Cabin Cookbook. You can order the cookbook online. There is a Kindle version as well. You can find it at stephaniesdish.com with all my other recipes. Make sure you hit subscribe on YouTube and you can also subscribe to my newsletter on Substack. It comes out twice a week. Just search for Stephanie Hansen, H-A-N-S-E-N, -S -E and you'll find me.